In Northern Canada, dog sledding is still very much a big part of everybody's lives. A lot of my friends have their own dog teams. A dog musher is either born with it or not. Responsibilities of a dog musher are mainly their health and their fitness. Keeping all the dogs in line, all the dogs do look up to the dog musher as a leader. The reaction to most people is a lot of excitement. Ray's going to be lying in the bottom of the third sled, wearing a helmet, getting bounced around and trying to keep this as steady as possible. We're going up and over hills and we don't want to be fixed to the actual sled because the whole image would jitter too much and would make people sick watching it. I'm worried about going to corners and this cork. This is going to be nuts. I think we should. My arms are going to act like steady cam arms and absorb the vertical shock. It's going to be very hard for me to keep the camera platform level and both the tilt and the, the um, roll axis. So that's where this comes in. It's World War II technology used uh, to stabilize gunners, guns, and uh, there's uh, elements in here that spin like a centrifuge really fast and then it'll keep it very stable. And then our other rig here uh, is on an RC buggy. It's been Frankensteined into being a suspension system for our three red cameras. And so we're gonna take it off the head there, place it on the RC car, and ideally that's gonna take some of our bounce out of the uh, bumps, but they've just cleared the trail, made it all nice, nice and smooth for us. And once again, it's a glorious day.